is Mary White. I am the director and owner of Pure Progression Music Therapy. We work with individuals along the Wasatch Front specializing in mental health and developmental disabilities. How does music affect the brain? I've seen music affect the brain in a lot of different ways. Um, personally with my clients I've seen it affect mood tremendously. Music often produces the brain chemical called dopamine which is a motivator and a neurotransmitter that increases pleasure and motivation in our lives so using that with clients with depression or using that with kids or using that with anybody that needs that extra boost really really supports that. I've also seen it affect people with um, TBIs, traumatic brain injuries where they might have damaged parts of their brain and music can kind of overcompensate for that and they can still speak or they can still do things that the affected area of the brain music can kind of override or bypass. So do you see people who, who live for music like that, do they usually end up performing with music or is there like, is it pretty even between people who just enjoy listening or people who enjoy performing? Yeah, good question. So in our sessions we'll do kind of a mixture. Um, they might have previous performance experience, they might know how to play guitar, they might write songs, they might write poetry. Um, a lot of times in our sessions we're doing improvisation where maybe they've never even picked up an instrument before, but we're playing music together. Pumpkins? Pumpkins. Some pumpkins yeah. here. Yes. So we have, how many pumpkins do you think we have? Is, is there a favorite song that you see most common, like a most common favorite song that you see in your clients? So that, it kind of goes with the trends. So like when Frozen came out, that was huge with kids. Like I literally played that in my sleep just so much. Um, Logic, his suicide song has been really, really impactful in the last couple of years. I think it's a few years old now. Um, so it kind of just depends on different current trends, but 
and then everyone, there's always those gems, I'll get like adolescents that come in and they like Simon and Garfunkel or like something super random that you wouldn't think they were into. Why did you pick music therapy? <laughs> Music therapy? Yeah. Uh, not really. No. Yeah. Uh, do you ever use music as therapy or like as like a way to like cope or like, you know, like music? Um, I do love music. Um, I usually, when I'm studying, I listen to binaural beats. Uh, but uh, on and all, I do listen to music every day. Um, I don't think about it as therapeutic, uh, but I use it more as of an enjoyment. Like when I go to the gym, I listen to the music. When I'm walking, I listen to the music to kill time. Uh, but I've never, you know, perceived music as, you know, something therapeutic. Right. So how would you say that it affects, like, your brain, like, affects you? When I'm listening to music, uh, especially rap and hip hop, um, makes me feel really good, especially when they talk about something that I can relate to, or they talk about experiences that, um, that I have lived. Um, makes me feel good. Uh, let me know that uh, I am not alone in, in the struggle. Yeah. Cool. Uh, thank you. Yes. So. To you, what is music therapy? Music therapy um, is listening to music to help you fix a problem that you're having in your life, mental or physical. And how do you use that personally? Personally, I'm a big fan of listening to my own music um, before I have to maybe like take a test or I'm going through a hard time. Music, I turn to music to kind of help me relieve that. So would you say music helps you mentally, like it helps your brain function? Yeah, I would say so, especially like um, maybe when I'm exercising, I feel like when I'm listening to music, it helps me um, perform better, I'd say. Yeah. All right. Great, thank you. Cool.